Shalom. Give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakadash, the Lord, the apostles, and the elders, that great millstone who rule well. Please, peace and blessings, says Sister Akim. To <coughs> Feel this word. And uh, Shalom, salutations. Uh, just a quick video I'm going to do on um, how uh, women want attention. Uh, they don't want attention until it's gone. And this goes for pretty much every woman that's on this planet. Um, probably up into the age of, I guess, 50 or whatever. But uh, I'm going to get into the scriptures because, you know, it's, it's the times we're living in. It's a lot of desperateness with these women, you know. First Timothy 5 and 6, but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. So the, the uh, main motive or um, a lot of their actions is uh, based off pleasure, you know. They uh, move out of um, uh, jealousy, and um, these women move out of um, of jealousy, and uh, you know, having fun and and competing with women, and uh, you know, and men, and now they uh, want. They want to be career ladies, and um, chiefly the so-called black woman. She wants a degree, and she wants a name for herself, but she's not setting up anything for her children, and she's not passing anything down, wealth and everything. She got a business and wealth, and but her children are suffering, so it's, it's, it's just selfish. So she, and it's not just the black woman, it's the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American women, and the heathen women. All the women of these nations really, uh, of the world really got one mindset. So it's kind of all, kind of grouped them all the same. You know, so they're, they're just walking dead. So you know what, what these women are used for, you know, or if they're of that caliber, then, you know, they don't get that deep. You know, it's Luke 19 and 13, and it says, And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said, Unto them occupy till I come. So the men of old was occupied, you know, occupied in what? Doing the will of the Lord. So that's what the men of coming back, that's what the men of the Lord are doing. They're occupied. They handle in business. They do what they have to do. If they want to get some women on the side, they, they do so. But majority of our time is doing what we have to do. Into the scriptures, handling, getting our house in order. And um, women can think they do the same thing. They don't know why they're doing it. They're just doing it for themselves, but they think they doing it too, you know. Um, you know, one reason why we don't give them attention, another thing is too, is because they have attention already of multiple, multiple men. Now, it's not that we don't look at them and, you know, and may speak, you know, um, rap to them and stuff, but for the most part, they're almost invisible. And it's not like how it used to be as far as dealing on a personal level is, is more uh, cutthroat with them nowadays because they don't care about you, you know. So they all got attention of other, they got attention of uh, several, several men already. I know personally I've been, I talked to a woman, you know, it was, I was out with brothers and I was chopping it up with a woman and talking to her, I look back, she talking to, she started talking to another dude because she like, you know, oh, you got Remember she said to him, "You got nice eyes." So she was, she was just choosing. She wasn't, you know, where's he? 
She was just getting what she could get. You know, it ain't. It's a, you know, it's, it's she has the option and choice, so that's part of the reason where why she's gonna be destroyed. Is Ecclesiasticus twenty six and twelve. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. When her, when he hath found a fountain and drink of every water near her, and by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. All right. Basically talking about she'll lay down, you know, because it's energy exchanging. When you give her, you know, when you she giving her, I guess, choosing signals and y'all exchanging choosing signals and you end up moving forward. You know, she's going to do that. Even even if uh, she's already committed, she's going to do it. Which is considered adultery in the Bible. All right. She's going to do it. So we don't we don't marvel over who she is, how she looks. Because we know they're not um, we know they're not help meets. If you know they're not help meets, you got to move. As if she's not a help me. And take her serious. Until she proves herself. But she wants you to prove herself. Yourself to her. She talking about some. Well I'm only going to submit to men. Who I think is alpha. They're supposed to submit. Regardless to any man that they deal with. And they're supposed to choose the right man. In the first place. Because you know we don't have. The option to wear. The man is supposed to, the father is supposed to choose, so they're supposed to choose now. You know, they're going to choose her. The vain things are out of the man. Ecclesiastes 25 and 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. All right. And, you know, it's it's not easy um, to look at because we look at them and we see they, they um physical attributes and they breasts and stuff and we we want pleasure that's because this flesh we in man you know that don't mean that we um we're stumbling over them and caulking over them. you know so because when you you know you do that you do that she treats you she is, if she's insecure, so you're doing that is is has her mind going that she's above you because she already is insecure. She doesn't um, she doesn't have a love for herself, so she's gonna be like, this nigga don't see how I'm piece of shit I am, you know? Because you decrease your value after you lay down with all these men. That's what they don't they don't they don't you know. They can't, they still, to this day, they can't compre comprehend that, you know. They still can't get it. You know, because then she sees you. She sees you, she sees you hit on what you got to do, and she sees you take care of yourself, taking care of yourself, and and not really, you know, on your top of your you know, game and loving yourself, then she's going to be attracted to you because that's what, you know, that's what she likes and that's what she likes out of a man because that's what the men that they go for, that's that's what they do. You know, uh, that's what they call a bad boy and stuff when they, you know, those type of guys. So that's what she goes for, you know. She don't goes for the guys that put her first. What she does, she doesn't treat them as if the, her first option. And that's just how they are. And some woman will say, that's not true. Well, bullshit. Look at her track history, well, uh, track record of guys she dated. They wasn't nice. If they were nice guys, it ended because she sabotaged it. 
Are we ain't going in the right direction, are we? No. She doing anything for that guy who gets her the moistest. She's doing anything for him. She's making it easy for him. She's making it hard for the guys that she's not attracted to. Pretty simple. This is Proverbs 31 and 30. That was a good one to start up. Ten. Uh, five. Says open open uh no, it's not good. Verse ten, yeah. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. It's the glory of a man is a woman, so everyone likes a be a beautiful woman in their life and they love to look upon a beautiful woman. But it says who can find one? So that was rhetorical. Damn, fly again. God damn it. Uh, you know. Let me see. I think I got one more. Okay. Proverbs 31. This is what I was looking for. Proverbs 31 and 22. She maketh herself. Let me see. Is that thirty one and thirty? Start at uh, twenty nine. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful. And beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And how do you praise a woman that fears the Lord? Well, you praise her by um, giving her her um, her credit where it's due, and you treat her well. It's not talking about you set her up on a pedestal and call her a queen, and you know what I'm saying. You start worshiping her, because the Lord, no, you can't worship anything other than Yahweh Wa Yahusha. But women, well, a woman will probably take that and see. Or, uh, or they use uh, a man who finds a, a woman or something, is uh, finds a good thing or something like that. Because you gotta, she got to ask herself, is she a woman? <laughs> All right, well, what does a woman mean? The definition is a servant. But they're not required to... Um, be servants here today, man. Because they got to go to work. They got to they gotta um, clock in for their Caucasian daddy. And um, be in his face. Be in his face. For 8 to 12 hours. You know, and then, you know. So, it suffers. We got to get out of here. So, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Bashim Chakadash, the Lord, to the apostles and elders, that great millstone. Shalom.